Hi there. This is Rob McLean from LearnToCruiseOnline.ca. Welcome to Episode 7 in the Connected Boat series. This episode deals with accessing marine weather. Of course, weather is of perennial interest to navigators, and all of us are used to checking weather forecasts on VHF radio broadcasts and official websites. However, there have been some interesting recent innovations that not everyone may be aware of. I know I wasn't until I started doing the research. These include uh, GRIB data available to display on chart plotters and navigation apps, specialized weather charts by internet, various uh, RF based uh, services, and new specialized weather services. GRIB data is something I've only been aware of and using for a couple of years. It's a concise data format used in meteorology to store historical and forecast weather data, and it's generally distributed in files that can be obtained via email or over the internet. This is a truncated sample of a GRIB file. When displayed on a chart, GRIB data can show wind vectors, strength, pressure gradients, and so on. You can get GRIB data in a variety of ways. For instance, if you send an email to query at saildocs.com with any subject and a body like what you see on the slide, you'll get a file back within a short period of time. When I loaded that file into GPS NavX, I can see all the uh, wind vectors displayed on the chart that you see on the right. Of course, normally one would request a, a much more focused data set. There are similar services available from mailassail.com and other organizations. Many navigation programs now have built-in functionality to request and display GRIB data automatically. So as long as you've got an internet connection, your GRIB data will be automatically updated. This, of course, is a little bit more difficult offshore, in which case the email request options may be more useful. There are also standalone GRIB viewer apps. In sum, easy access to GRIB data is an innovation of interest to most boaters. As part of the general trend to having more government services available online, Canada and other countries publish graphic area forecasts. Uh, some of these were initially targeted at aircraft pilots, but are of equal interest to boaters. It's now also easy to get weather radar animations online, which can be extremely useful for keeping out of the way of storm tracks. For decades, sailors have been able to get weather maps over dedicated weather fax equipment. What's more recent is that these can be obtained through various automated services by email auto response or FTP. And even more recently, instead of requiring a dedicated weather fax, Black Cat Systems, run by a US amateur radio enthusiast, has developed apps that run on Macs and iOS that can decode and display a radio fax chart on a laptop or iDevice just by patching the audio from the radio into the device. This innovation means that a much larger group of sailors may wish to take advantage of NOAA's weather fax broadcast schedule. Similarly, NavTech services targeted primarily at commercial shipping traditionally required expensive dedicated hardware to receive and decode. While more modern hardware is now available, Black Cat Systems has also apps that can decode NavTech signals on a Mac or iOS device, again by patching the audio from the radio into the device. In addition, there are automated services that provide NavText messages via email autoresponse. 
Over the past couple of years, I've been intrigued by the number of specialized weather prediction services that have emerged. While some of these are targeting high performance, high performance sailors with paid subscription services, most have a free offering that is of more general interest. I've referred to uh, passageweather.com, winguru.cz, with, which has free and paid services, predictwind.com, and uh, draw your attention in particular to weather.mailassail.com, which provides an excellent overview of marine weather services from two very knowledgeable experts. In sum, an increasingly wide variety of marine weather data is, av is readily available on the net by auto response regular or satellite email, automatically accessed by navigation software uh, where an internet connection is available, via high frequency radio, and via various specialized internet and satellite based services. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode 8.